Hey there, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot, here to do another weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind, this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you that would like a personal reading with me, please check in the description box below. Alright, this is going to be from the 10th to the 16th of February. Um... I did a full moon reading for you guys to see how the energies will affect you, the situations that you need to deal with. So if you want, you can take a look at those as well. Alright, so let's jump into this reading and we'll see what Spirit has to say to you guys this week. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody that acts like they don't care about you, is what I'm hearing when I look at this card. And there is a decision coming very soon that you are going to have to make as regards to this person, closing off a cycle with them. Because I think they are moving towards someone else, maybe another fire sign, Sagittarius. And they really do want to make your relationship a third party situation. Okay. Because they don't really want a commitment with you. They don't want anything long term. Hmm. They don't want anything long term and they don't want any ties with you. Because they aren't giving you any clarification when it comes to what is wrong in the relationship. You keep asking them, what is wrong, what is wrong, what is wrong? And they are saying nothing. And you are feeling that a heartbreak is on the way for you or one recently happened to you. But you're ready to put down those burdens and to rush into them and tell them that things are going to work out for you guys. Just remember, it could be you or the person you're dealing with. All right, doesn't necessarily have to be you, but I'm reading for the sign of Scorpio, so I'm saying I'm reading for you. There was some betrayal that happened, and you are finally coming out of that energy. But you're being very observant. Or it could have something to do with higher sign, child, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But look at this. this this page of swords. He looks kind of sneaky. So I think somebody is sneaking around looking at the other person. Could be you, Scorpio. Could be the person you're dealing with. Alright, so let's see. You're ready to move to Karma Waters with this person. Or you're ready to move from this whole situation in general because you're tired you're tired and you're ready to give up on this person because you're tired of waiting you're tired of waiting to see what this person will do Because it's like any day the, the person could drop the ball but they aren't doing it so it's like a mental torture you see that's what I just said it's a mental torture you don't know if you're gonna go if you're gonna stay but this person is like changing you know they're doing something you just can't pinpoint what it is and every day it's like it's going to be your last and then you go through this whole nine of swords energy and then the person comes back and speak to you again it's like this person is literally playing with you but all you want is for them to see you and see how much you love them but i don't think they care at this point in time because you're waiting you're waiting to try to figure out this whole situation and to have a recognized victory with this person but it seems like to, to them all you are is a game because you have taken a lot of crap from this person 
and as soon as they send you a message of love again it's all over you fall right back into the same trap and they know this about you Scorpio they promise you a new beginning in love they promise you sex and then it's all over it's back to the same games again But every time they call you, you rush into them. Because you really do want this person to understand that you love them. But they don't want anything long term with you, Scorpio. Honestly, I'm sorry to be so blunt. They may send you messages. They may be receiving messages from somebody that they have a connection with or a child mother. And this, when they do that, it, it, it's like they treat you very badly. Because, like, you don't matter to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you really love being with this person. Because on their good days, they could be loving, kind, and everything else. Because they embody this energy of the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. And they, they, they make love to you like no one else has. <clears throat> and they make you forget all that they do and then they offer you love and it's all over it's what you they know you are vulnerable to them and they take advantage of you for it and this has been going on for some time I'm hearing broken your heart more than once but you still keep waiting you still keep waiting and I think once you see this clarity you are going to step into this king of pentacles energy Taurus will go Capricorn and say you know what I can take care of myself I don't need this but that's for some of you but for others of you as soon as this person tells you I love you things are going to work out they push the right buttons, that's it. They get back in. They promise you the world, they use you conveniently, and then they leave. This is a heck of an energy. For those of you that this resonates with, I'm, I know you are going to get angry with me, and you may leave some snide comments. It's okay. Because the truth isn't always something people want to hear. That's what the, that is the message I have for you this week. That is what Spirit is saying to you. And that is what I'm reading it to be. Alright, so the outcome for you for this week. The most likely outcome for you guys for this week. Is you have a decision to make. It's either you leave this toxic relationship. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with as well. It's either you leave this 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 toxic relationship and start afresh or you could believe that this person cares for you and they don't mean to stress you out but at the end of the day the decision is your spirit is saying you have free will you could do as you choose but that sounds like a narcissistic relationship it's sad to say because this person takes from you and takes from you and takes from you without giving you anything in return and then leaves and comes back and offers you love and offers you a brand new beginning and you're willing to take a leap of faith with them so for some of you you're going to say yes to this person again and you are going to go wrong in the same cycle again. And you are going to get your heart broken again. Because they don't want a commitment with you, Scorpio. They see you as an emotional wreck. 
they see you as someone that wears your heart on your sleeve and that is what they use against you spirit is saying to make a decision to take some time out for yourself to go within figure out what it is you want become more stable become more nurturing to yourself love yourself that is the message i have for you guys this week uh have a good week scorpio